Youngstress Jessica Simpson. Nick and Jessica fell in love, got married, and moved to a beautiful home in the hills of California. You are my everything. But Happily Ever After still eludes the talented twosome. What's wrong with the fairy tale? Their theater room needs help. MTV, save my marriage. Make this room everything that my wife wants it to be. So it's Crib Crashers to the rescue. But can Todd teach Nick and his bandmates enough tricks to pull off the transformation? You idiot, what have you done? <laughs> and can Jessica's mom keep her distracted long enough for the guys to finish the crib over? Who are you showing this to? All bets are off on this special celebrity edition of Crib Crashers. theater room, the room that we're going to be dealing with today. This is a new house, you know, Jess guys, we're newlyweds, and, and the theater room was something that we definitely wanted to make a very special place because we both enjoy watching movies. For Nick being able to surprise her with this, I think she's going to be ecstatic. The only piece of furniture I have in the room is this lovely couch-like platform thing. The room is pretty bare bones. It's just a skeleton of a theater room. This is like the screen kind of area where the where the screen will go. Watch it's very new, very new. Right now, it's just pretty generic. Here's my dingy carpet, and that's definitely not their styles. MTV, save my marriage. Make this room everything that my wife wants it to be. It's nothing now, and it would make her so happy for Valentine's Day so she could watch Pretty Woman over and over and over again in the comfort of her own home theater. I got rid of Jessica. I put her off on her mom. Well, I miss you. I never get to see you anymore. You know, now that you're all married and everything. All right, well, mom, we're gonna have a good day. They definitely went to a. We're getting massages. See, it's the first thing to do is get the stuff out. That's the, that's the really long pole. There used to be yeah. having the long pole. When did you know you guys could sing? Is it one? Did you could you tell early on? Or verdict's still out on that. <laughs> Have you guys talked to Jessica today? She called me a little bit ago, and she's about to get her nails done. I'm opening the door now, Mom. <laughs> I'm embarrassing her. She has no clue why I'm doing this. Do you really think she doesn't have any idea we're doing this? I think she might think I'm up to something, but she has no clue what it would be. All right, guys, this looks terrific. A um, little blotchy, but it's going to work perfectly for our next technique. Now, have you ever seen such a goofy paint roller as this? No. Put one color of paint on this side and one on this side. See how there's little bits of it on both? We wanted to try to find something that would reference the beautiful night sky. So we chose shades that look like the deepest part of the sky and then where the clouds kind of reflect the moonlight. And you don't put too much pressure, but you just get short little brush strokes crossing each other back and forth. I'll go for it. All right, great. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Unistrike. Oh. Sponging is a little tricky when it's 13 feet in the air. It's like in this is fine, dude. Your technique leaves something to be desired. <laughs> the way we uh, painted the ceiling, that was a pretty neat technique. What do you think, guys? I think it looks amazing. It's great, yeah. While we let this dry, I think we should go outside and start working on the dyeing for all the fabrics. Yeah. That's good. All right, so Nick, when we get to the curtains around the room, I think we've come up with something that'll be really beautiful and custom just for you guys. Okay. Now, this is 100% rayon crushed velvet. We're going to use something as simple as just great old bleach. This is another great thing that you really can't make a mistake on. That's my kind of project. We're ready to start the dyeing. Now we need to put our marker so we'll know how far to dip the fabric in, because we, okay. we want it to be light at the top and then go to a deep blue at the bottom. <laughs> First, we're gonna do is thoroughly wet the fabric. It smells like when Jessica washes my whites. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you see, we've got eight cups of blue dye here. So, we're gonna pour one cup in. We let this soak in here right. about four minutes. Okay. We're ready to find our next safety pin and feed the fabric right back in. The deeper it gets, the, the more concentrated the dye gets. Right. So by the time we get to the end, we'll have just the lightest touch on the end. 
and then we just run some uh, process. But the ends justify the means, and I think the fabric is going to look great. With the clock ticking away, things start to get a little rough. Day of love is over, and the world is beginning this Saturday. Oh, the Italian. Oh. A well-known tobacco. Teddy bag of ribs. Are you sure? Yes, please. Or is she, she going to love it? We've pre-cut some of these beautiful. We're going to make sure we don't get too many of the same style right next to each other. So maybe that in there to break it up. you idiot. What have you done? <laughs> Nice technique. <laughs> this is about Justin's pace. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, what do you think? Beautiful. That's great. So we thought we'd kind of come up with some little end table ideas that could fit between the sofas. And since it's a film room, we actually did a little dumpster diving here in L.A. And only in L.A. are film cans dumpsters. Only in LA. Right. We're going to use something as simple as this silicone. This is just a clear silicone rubber. These things look kind of boring when they're stacked up all normal like this. Yeah, a little too perfect. Yeah, huh? they need that precarious quality there.
So, do you think Jessica has any idea what we're up to? I don't think so. I think uh, she seems to be pretty clueless about everything. <laughs> Nick has her mom taking her shopping or something. Jessica, stop. Sneaky mother. What do you think? Looks pretty level from here. How's it look from your side? Looks good. I think that'll do it. All right. Well, that was about a five-minute project, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's about as easy as you can get. Well, we got one thing to do before we have we get to go to sleep tonight. We got to bring this one more platform in, put it All in right. place, and you guys are off till tomorrow. When you do a screening room, you want to make sure that the sight lines are perfect. So we added two platforms to so have a nice little tiered effect. I don't know about you guys, but I need to take a shower. <laughs> yes, I think you, you do. <laughs> I think Nick owes us dinner. I think yeah, so. you know what, guys? Yeah. Dinner's on me tonight. Big Mac meal. Yeah, I knew it was coming. <laughs> I was tired at the end of the day. You know, surprisingly, it took a lot out of me. Hey, morning, guys. Come on in. Hey, how are you? Fine, nice to see morning. you. We got a little special present for you, Nick. Yes. 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 <laughs> wow. MTV and Envision Media wanted to hook you guys up with this major system here. That is incredible. Wow. Yeah. We're gonna hook you guys up later, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, we, I mean, I, my house is just right down the road. I mean, just come on over. When I saw all the new equipment, the first thing that popped to my mind was, why didn't they ask to do my house? Did you talk to her last night? Yes, just call me. I miss you. And oh, oh come on. No, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was what Nick said. <laughs> she did. She did. <laughs> I think the first thing we should do today is park down this carpet. Okay. This is a company called Interface, and they've hooked you guys up with this beautiful sort of purple. It'll match sort of the bottom of the curtains. Okay. okay. And as you see, they're kind of heavy, so the natural weight keeps it in place. And so you don't have to glue them down with anything? You don't have to glue them down. Now, does this have, like, a, a beer repellent on it? It does. It's natural okay. beer repellent. You know, when Drew comes over, he tends to get sloppy and... Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, all we have to do is trim out these molding pieces here, put these last few pieces, and we can okay. be on to our next project. Okay, Drew. I thought we needed some popcorn bowls. Makes sense. These ticket bowls were made by a great L.A. artist named Brian Jewett. I guess we're going to knock him off today. I hope he doesn't mind too much. So all we need are just a few supplies. We got these tickets, you know, the round ones. So you just sort of gently coax them out yep. and start making them into a bowl shape. So see what you come up with. How come you got the dollars and I got the 50 cents? I'll be happy to trade you. Yeah. All right. There you go. Appreciate it. Go for it. If I remember correctly, I think Jessica likes to put junior mints on her popcorn. Bin popcorn? I, I think so. I think it's a salty, <laughs> sweet thing. I don't know. Just make sure that your pad brush has plenty of glue on it. And start on the interior and just brush it in with a nice heavy coat. All right, Drew looks pretty good. We just have to wait a couple hours. We'll come back, use this polycrylic, and we'll be eating popcorn in no time. Easy enough. We got a couple more things to do. I know Jessica's on her way back, so yeah. we're under the gun here. Before we put the fabric up, I think we should do something with the ceiling. We have these beautiful little metal stars cast. The hole in the middle, we'll get little brads and just do some beautiful configuration at the top. Cool. Any specific constellation we're going for here? It's your universe, Nick. Sorry, so far, you got like eight up? Wow, Nick, you got a good four up. Well, I don't have a star, smart ass. Yeah. Yay, all right. Whew. <laughs> all right, can you believe we got 200 of them up there? Hi. It looks amazing, yeah, though. Pretty good. Very beautiful. I'm hoping we'll pull it off in time. I think it's, I think we're pretty much on schedule. Everything's gone fairly smoothly, and I think we'll make it. When we come back, Jessica gets a look at her new theater room. Will it be a sweet surprise or a big bust? You'll find out when Crib Crashers returns. It's going to be tight. Jessica's a little bit unpredictable. You never know when she's just going to pop in. We're going to start by putting the curtains up. So All right. I'm going to put the first one up. You guys can help me with the second. 
right, we have about seven more of these to hang, and I think it'll look great. All right. What do you think? Looking good. Yeah, it looks really nice. You need to move the big ladder up onto that platform. I was going to move it myself. It'd be really impressive, but, you know. Why, he man. <laughs> that sure is. <laughs> Here's our, uh, that Daddy yeah. boy was very generous and Oh, you guys are I own a biography. And you got these incredible Beamer video phones. Are you cool. kidding? Yeah, is that what these are? Yeah. Can we take Drew's back? So I don't want to see Drew when I talk to him. <laughs> I think there might be even another present for you. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I wanted a popcorn machine. I'm at your service. <laughs> and then out here. We got something special. We gotta put our names in it. One, two. Uh, I'm not strong enough. I need you like a hand. <laughs> <laughs> On this edition of Ultrasound. Love.